Hello, welcome to this first episode of Astrocast 101, a series of video which will guide you through Astrocast products and services. I'm Gildas and I will be your host today. In this video, we will see how to send a first uplink message to space through the Astrocast IoT network. Let's go! Of course, you will need an Astrocast product. Most probably, you have received an astronaut dev kit, which comes with a USB cable, so it is basically plug and play. Otherwise, you might have an astronaut S Plus. In that case, you will need a custom RS-232 cable with USB on one side and a Molex connector on the other. At last, you will need a computer with Windows 10 or above and the astronaut GUI installed on it. If you are a Linux or Mac OS user, we also provide some Python example on the Astrocast GitHub. If you are interested, we will cover this topic in a future video. You will find the links to access these resources in the description below. At the time of this video, the Astrocast satellite constellation provides a satellite pass over your location on average every 6 hours. This frequency is expected to reduce significantly as the constellation grows. Therefore, you need to check when the next Astrocast satellite will be over your location. One option is to go on the home page of the Astrocast portal. Be careful, on the portal, the default time zone is UTC. You can change that to your local time zone in your user account settings. Before we go outside, I would like to talk about one of the important parameters of the satellite pass, the maximum elevation. The elevation is the angle between the horizon and the satellite. The minimum elevation for the communication to start is around 45 degrees. Higher the elevation, longer the satellite pass. The pass duration will vary between 1 to 2 minutes. Now we are ready to catch the next satellite. 10 minutes before the pass, we will go outside with the computer and the Astrocast device. The place that you choose needs to have sky view. For example, a garden, a park or a rooftop. Plug the USB cable to the computer and launch the astronaut GUI. Select the right COM port and queue at least one message in the module. When the satellite pass begins, the device automatically starts transmitting messages from the module's FIFO queue. The astronaut GUI will automatically pull the device's event register to check if an acknowledgement has been received. Once all messages are successfully sent, you will see the acknowledgement in the astronaut GUI as indicated by the green circle next to ACT. When the message is acknowledged, it is then stored on board the satellite until it is downloaded through one of our ground stations around the globe. The message will then appear in the Astrocast portal and API, as you can see here. The message can be viewed in ASCII, hexadecimal or base 64. In addition, you can retrieve created and received dates. So with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for attending this first episode and see you in the next one.